this full range of the feminine that we talk about, it's not just in archetypes and in the psyche. It is lived through this physical body, this vessel, through how our health is manifesting, through how our hormones are speaking to us, through how our brain responds to our heart, you know, brain and heart coherence. It is all very much a whole human experience. So this is how I try to speak to women, kind of extrapolating it from, again, the very type of conceptual polarity concepts, bringing it down into like the flesh, blood and bones of our experience. Mm. Um, And that sets so many women free. Yeah. Yeah. Can you speak to the descending of the feminine and what that means Mm -hmm. to, yeah, in the descent? Right. So typically when you're in the boss babe archetype of your life, right, you are using masculine um, energetics towards your success. And we see this very much in um, how men um, achieve success. So something I learned about um, biology is that women in the natural world, there is no hierarchy for them. There's no hierarchy for females in the biological world, in the world of nature. Um, You can see this in female lions in a pride, right? They hunt together. They uh, commune in raising the offspring together. Like in nature, women have always come together um, without a hierarchy in place. It just doesn't exist. We tend to forget that as humans because as humans, we're very intelligent. And so we can adapt and we can have leaders like Betty Friedan (laughs) saying um, these things about like, well, you know, women should be able to like rise in power too in the same way. She didn't say it in the same way as men did, but like we can do that too. But what feminists essentially say to do it like men do it. And that is just like not possible biologically, like in the brain and all of these things. So hierarchy is very useful for males, very useful because it allows the the strongest male to have access to all of the females that are needed to carry on the strongest gene. So you see this in gorillas, like there's a silverback gorilla, and then there's all the smaller males around him. These smaller males don't mate with all the female gorillas. It is only the alpha male that does so. And uh, my mentor in biology put it simply, he's like, you can consider like the beta males as like the gay in nature. They don't reproduce, just like gay people don't have natural children, right? So their purpose is not to reproduce. Their purpose is just to exist, right? So beta males in nature are under the male. Their only purpose is protect the females, protect the tribe. If we die doing it, then we're, we're being male right? In the top side world of humans, this is why males compete and it feels good to them to win and to show competence and to show excellence because it is hearkening to that hierarchy that exists in nature. We're a part of nature, right? Like humans are a part of nature, but we forget that we are. And so when you see like a feminized man, and we say feminized, not because he's like a woman, but because he's in that part of his behavioral mechanism and chemistry, that essentially he stops achieving. He stops that kind of like male type behavior of competing with other males. And caricatures in the world of content, you know, Carnivore Aurelius does a really good, I love following Carnivore yeah. Aurelius because he produces these memes about like feminized men. So a feminized man is a man with uh, pornography vice. 
smoking, drinking. Like these are men who need substances to cope, right? That that's a man in his feminine because he needs to mm, kind of like just survive life, but not achieve, right? And so, like this is also the man who um, he can't like get a woman, right? He He's dating, but he's not like getting the type of woman that he wants to marry. And so even men who are in partnerships and situationships where they are not rising to being the hierarchical male, like the excellent male, right? One who is worthy of taking on a partner and taking care of her. He's a feminized man too. It's very interesting because we tend to minimize like feminine femininity and masculinity to just oh women who have makeup and wear dresses and talk a certain way they're feminine and like oh men who go to the gym and then they work out and then they sleep with a bunch of women that's masculine behavior but actually if you look at the personalities of people and you look really closely at the dynamics that they have with interacting with other human beings a overtly feminine looking woman can actually be doing that in her masculine energy and a man who might be overtly masculine in terms of like the visuals like what he presents out there can actually be doing it from an egoic sense of the feminine I recently learned this from attending, again, these um, sessions with my mentors, this one in particular um, by a doctor. And he was like saying, you know, those men, when you see them online and all they're doing is just posting their workouts and like their muscles and their, their face, even if they're men and they're male, that is a very egoic behavior and manifestation and the ego resides in the female area of the brain. And so to humor us, because this was a class of all females being mentored by a male, you could say that a man who is full of himself is like a woman. Mm. <laughs> you know, because it's the ego is in the female aspect of the brain, right? So he says, like, we need to know, like, and use this in our discernment factors for people. Like a very masculine man is probably not even in social media at all, unless he's running a business and it's his marketing platform, et cetera. But like real men are out there doing hard things, usually for their woman, and then coming home, wanting a peaceful home that his woman has managed and taken care of for him. Like somehow this angers feminists like somehow this has become oppressive right and so, some women have taken on that narrative too but it it actually is a very organic microcosm of what's happening in nature already if your husband is working hard because he wants a promotion that's just like these beta males trying to figure out how to topple the alpha male gorilla if they can hope to do that, you know, because that's what happens in the wild. Like, I think I want to be like an alpha male. I'm going to try and kill the alpha gorilla in the world space that looks like a man saying, I want to make a better life for my children. I'm going to work hard and get this promotion against this other man who's also vying for the position. It's the same thing, right? Same energetics different like embodiment because of we're human and that's nature but we are still a part of how nature operates we are still operating under natural law mm. right which is the unwritten yeah. law but it is the truth the fundamental truth of who we are as humans so to remember that is crucial to restoring like true polarity between us, again, to borrow that, that phrase from Dr. Pat Allen, women have to feel good in order to do good. Men have to do good in order to feel good. In nature, that looks like 
Mr. Alpha Gorilla killing off all the enemies and all the intruders so that all of the females with his babies can feel good, feel protected. He's doing good and he feels good doing that so that the woman, the female within his territory can feel good to have more of his babies to carry on more of the progeny. If we can remember that that dynamic already exists and we have the opportunity to remember and reinstate it in the in correcting the inversions that have happened against our biology as men and women, then I feel, you know, like we will see more of these recalibrated family dynamics, which, you know, like women in our spaces, we're holding the space for now. We're holding the space for women who didn't have present fathers, who probably had dominant mothers, mothers in their creating in their masculine energy versus being in their feminine energy. So, yeah, I don't know if I went too far off track there, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. I love the tangents. They always get us to... But that's the descent. That is really... The mm-hmm. I, I don't make it complicated. I just say, let's look at nature. Yeah. Because yeah. We- that that is peeling off all of the layers of civilization and society that, that society has built very well, by the way, but it has removed us. We're talking about the descent. That is it. Like the earth, the, the, the mother aspect of the creator is the earth. That is why lineages have called the earth a female organism, right? Because the descent of us as women is simply just Remember that you're a woman, that you're a female, like you, you have biology on your side. You were born biologically valuable. So sometimes a lot of what women experience when they descend from creating in their masculine is just becoming a woman. Um, uh, monitoring the, the feminine cycle, for instance, is one very obvious descent yeah. Right. Because it's it's allowing like the disruption of the the systems like one of the things that I liked about my dad, for instance, and I didn't know this when I was 13 years old, was when I'd have my period, I was allowed to stay home. That's unusual, you know, because we have tampons and such toilets in our schools, but my father allowed me to stay home when I was having my period as a child. That's an example of a descent. Usually you won't hear that in the polarity space, right? But that's an example of a descent. It's like, get out of whatever programming and implants you're living by and remember the femaleness of your own body and being. So bringing women out from the field of masculine energy is simply inviting them into like relationship with their physical bodies first because then when we are stable in the ground of our own womb of the earth of our biology then we can more easily sort through the psyche which is where all the implants have been made right yeah 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 it's like taking that knowledge and learning that you were speaking to earlier mm. when you were kind of in your transition from boss babe into this world, like learning all you could. Yeah, trying to embodying learn it. it as concepts. But, you yeah. know, uh, postpartum depression, um, like um, my little girl being very um, needing kangaroo style care, right? Yeah. Like, total opposite of my son so the body brought the body will always bring us back home to our organic like feminine female template always 